Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for my lovely Leos. How are you doing Leo? Hope you're doing amazing. I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy of the best holidays that are uh, right around the corner. I hope you guys are as ecstatic as I am for the holidays. Anyways, let's see what Spirit has for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus regarding their love life for the remainder of November 2021. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, Leo, let's see what's going on in your love life. What can you expect in the next coming weeks? Let's get right into it. So your first card here is the page um, the page of swords. So you're watching someone or putting very close eye on those around you or the people that you're currently dealing with or communicating. You may be stalking them online. You may be looking at them, uh, seeing what's going on in their life. Now, the card that symbolizes the partner or person of interest is the two of wands. As you can see, we have two pages here and they're both looking at each other. What does this mean? This means that for some of you guys, you could already have your eye on someone or you may be dealing with someone, but not pretty sure, not quite sure if they are all in, if they're interested, if they're vibing with your energy. What Spirit is telling you is, yes, they are definitely feeling you. You are feeling them. You guys are both looking at each other. This could be through social media. This could be uh, through Facebook, through WhatsApp, through Instagram, through TikTok, all of those um, social media outlets. But most importantly, I feel like you guys are holding back. There's something that you guys are not fully open to this connection or not fully saying what you're feeling. So I feel that someone in this connection may be dealing uh, with some type of uh, feeling like you have to be guarded or you have to take care of your energy or your heart. Um, this could be you or this could be your person of interest. Now, the next card here is the Emperor card. And the Emperor is the wanting to stabilize a connection where you feel like they may not be completely honest or like they're not being forthcoming in something. Um, because we do have the Seven of Swords here, I feel that for some of you guys, it could just simply be the energy of feeling like you have to guard yourself or you have to be guarded in some aspect because there is a feeling here of, you know, kind of waiting for them to either make the move to open up or to communicate. It's like Leo is, you know, holding back. I've put effort. I've put energy. At this point, I'm looking for stability. I'm looking for some type of structure. If they're not willing to give me that structure or they're making me feel like there's they're inconsistent with their words and their actions, then I will be forced to make the decision to either cut or pull away from this connection, judgment making a decision here. Now, the cards that are symbolizing your partner, person of interest is the tower, the pope, and the ace of swords. Okay, so what I can definitely tell you guys is there is some type of news, some type of conversation, some type of connection that's going to be happening between you and your person. The tower is a major transformation. This to me symbolizes the person that didn't want commitment and all of a sudden they realize they have an epiphany or uh, spirit is guiding them or showing them either through dreams, something that is prophetic here, um, that they realize you are their person, Leo. You are the one uh, that they should be putting effort and energy towards with the Ace of Swords. This is making them uh, realize and then vocalize to you where do we go from here or how do we make this or deepen this connection. For others of you, those of you, those of you guys that are single, I do see you guys being watched on social media. So there is definitely someone that may be looking at you, maybe dealing with a Taurus, you may be dealing with a uh, an Aries, a Sagittarius type of energy, um, or air energy as well, as well as Scorpio energy. But what they're saying here is there's someone looking at you, and it's like they don't fully know you or know your story. It's kind of like they are wondering if you're single. They're wondering if you're available, that type of energy. But I feel that by the end of November, this person is going to be either expressing their interest in you or they will be giving you some type of gesture, whether it's a present, whether it's a gift for the holidays, something that is going to 
throw you a bit off because you weren't really expecting it. And that's where the communication or the emotional communication happens. I do see them hoping uh, to stabilize some type of connection with you. So I feel that the person that you may be dealing with in, around, in or around the end of November is going to be someone that is already around you. You may already know them. Um, and it, like I said, it's almost like they're telling me it's like a surprise. So it's going to be uh, maybe from someone that you weren't really expecting or you weren't even sure if they were interested. It's like you guys kind of felt each other's energies. But one was, you know, kind of one and the other were waiting to make a move. They are deciding to make the move by the end of November, Leo. So beautiful energy. I want to wish you guys the very best. Again, happy holidays and we'll see each other soon. Bye.